This is Dror Moshe Kasuto. Baruch Hashem, we're going to try to tell a few more stories about our holy um, beginner, the man of faith, the pillar of earth. He's the one that delivered so much light to the wide world and the Creator himself promised him that in his blessings will be blessed all the families around the world. Um, yesterday we've been to Walmart and the, the person, uh, like one of the workers, had a name tag and it was written on him, Albert. So I told him, do you know that Albert is Abraham, is Abraham? And he didn't know, like a 60 years old person doesn't know that he's named after Abraham. And uh, Albert is, uh, is one of the names that have been given to people um, in France and in different uh, lands, <clears throat> different countries. After Abram, also Abram is, is, the real name is Avraham. So also Abram is like a change in the name of our true father, Avraham. So there is reading again from Sefer Hayashar, the, the, the honest and straight book, the book of the straight. And it's telling us that when... Um, when Abram was 50 years old, so, um, so he was already very known um, in his ways of faith and going and revealing his faith to, to people around the world. And in one of the days he came to the house of his father and he saw the idols of his father. Twelve large statues standing all in the house of his father that um, they were worshipping idols in those days. So he felt very bad to see that in the house of his father. For many years, Abram, like what got into it? Why, why especially in that day? For many years, Abram was learning um, wisdom of truth in the house of Noach. And it was like a, like a yeshiva. It was a place of learning. And he was sitting and learning over there with him. And when he came back home, he was 50 years old. And then he wanted like, to visit his parents. And suddenly he saw like 12 statues standing like that, being worshipped. And he made an oath. He was upset and he made an oath. He said, Chai Hashem, Hashem... Hashem is alive. If Hashem is alive, I'm, I'm going to show you that those stones, those uh, shapes, those statues won't stand in the house of my father. And, and he made a, a promise, in three days I'm going to break them all, and went out from that room. And then he went to the outside um, yard and found his father sitting with his slaves, with his workers, and Abraham asked his father, Please, father, tell me where is that God that created the sky and the land and the earth, the one that created all human beings, the one that created you and created me also as well. So Terach, his father, answered to him, The one that created all of us is in the house. So Abraham asked his father, Show them to me, my sir, please, my good sir. So Terach took his son Abraham to the backyard, to the inner yard, to the room, and there they saw the whole room was full with idols made out of wood and stone, twelve large ones and smaller ones in no number, like many. So Terach said to his son, Here they are, they are the ones that made everything you saw in the wide world, in the land. They created me and you and all the people that are out there. So Terach was bowing to his gods and went out. And Abram went out with him as well. And then he went to speak with his mother. And he asks his mother, tells her, My father shown me what heaven... 
he, my father shown me those ones that created heaven and earth and the cre and, and people now please bring me an a deer from 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 the animals we have and i want to sacrifice it to the idols to the idols of my father maybe i'm going to please them so his mother she helped him with that and brought a, a small deer and made it cooked it everything and gave it to Abram. Abram took it from the hands of his mother and brought it in front of the gods of his father, the idols of his father, and served the food for them to eat. And Terah, his father, didn't know. So Abram was waiting, and nothing happened, and they're not talking, and they're not listening, and they're not moving, and none of them is reaching out for the food to eat, no one. So Abraham was kidding, he was happy, and he said, what, the food that they made maybe is not good for them, or maybe it's only a little bit, maybe it's not enough, they, that's why they're not eating. Tomorrow I'm going to make much more food, and I'll see, and better food, and we'll see what will happen tomorrow. And in the next day he asked his mother, please, if she can help them, and she made three young deers, better than the first one she brought. And she made it delicious, like her son asked her to. And she gave it to him, to Abram. And Terach still didn't know anything about that. Abram took those delicious food, the animals from his mother, brought it to the idols of his father, served it to them in front of them, sat with them all that, that day. Maybe they'll eat. And Abram saw that they're not moving, not listening, not talking. No one of them is reaching out for the food. And then the Spirit of God dressed Abram. The Spirit of Heaven, the power from above, dressed him. Filled him from within. And then he said, I have pity on my father and on all of this generation that their heart is following, tilting after nonsense, after empty things, and their worship idols like those that made out of stone and wood, that cannot eat and cannot smell, cannot hear and cannot talk. They have mouth and they cannot speak, eyes and they cannot see, ears and they cannot hear, hands and they cannot feel, legs and they cannot walk, and like them, will be all the ones that are worshipping them and everyone that is trusting them and will bow and serve them will fail. When Abram saw all those empty things that people are doing, he was very upset and felt sorrow for his father and he went and took um, like an axe in his hand and went into the room of the idols of his father and broke all the idols and after he finished breaking all those statues, he put the axe in the hand of the large idol that was there and went out. Terach came to his house and heard all the noise of what happened from the entrance, came into the house to look what happened. And he heard and he went and saw his son Abram while running out from the room. So Terach went in after saw Abram and went into the room and he saw all the idols fell on the ground and all of them are broken and that the axe is in the hand of the largest one and he's the only one that was complete and not broke and all the food that Abram served them is still standing in front of them so Terach saw all that and was very angry and he went to look for Abram because he saw Abram running out from the room a few minutes before and he saw him, he saw Abram sitting in the house. So he asked him, What have you done to all of my idols, to all of my gods? Vayan Abraham, so Abram answered to him, to Terach, me? I didn't do anything. I just brought food, sacrifices. And when I served the food for them to eat, everyone were reaching out for the food to eat. And they did it in a rude way. They were not respecting the largest one. So he, the largest one, saw what they did, that they tried to take food before of him. And he was very upset, the largest idol. 
and he took the axe that was in the house and started breaking all of the, all of the rest of them, all the smaller ones. And here you can see the axe is still in his hand, like you saw. So Terach was very upset on Abram when he said those words, and he told him, What are you talking about? You're lying to me. Do you think that those gods, those idols, they have spirit and, and soul in them and power to do all those things that you said to me? They're made out of wood and stone. I made them. I built them. How can you lie to me so much? The largest ones, the largest one of them, he hit them, he broke them. How can you say that? So Abram asked his father, and how can you worship those idols that don't have the power to do anything? Can they save you and protect you, that you're counting on them and trusting them? Do you think that they will listen to your prayer when you call them? Do you think that they will help you to escape from the hands of the ones that hate you? Do you think that they will go out and fight for you, your wars uh, against your enemies? That you're worshipping stones and, and woods, stone and wood that cannot speak and cannot listen? You don't need to do those things. You and all the people that are following you, I don't understand why you, don't, and why you can't understand that you should not serve and worship trees, woods, and stones. And you forgot the real God that made heaven and earth, the one that really created you here on that land. And you brought that horrible thing on your spirits on your souls that you're worshipping idols and, and, and that are empty. And you know that those sins are the sins of our ancestors, that the Creator brought the flood on them, and water destroyed the world and erased all human race except of Noah's family. So why you kept on doing those horrible things and you're not serving the real true God that created heaven and earth? So please, my father, stop doing that and don't bring bad things on yourself and on the spirit of your beloved ones, on your family, on your house. And Abram ran to the, in front of his father, took the axe from the hand of the large idol of his father and broke him as well to pieces. This is our noble father that was ready to risk himself and to do as much as he can to reveal the true faith, the true existence of the Creator in our lives. May His power live inside of us and shine from us to the wide world. Amen. We hope you enjoyed this video very much. Please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com. May your light shine always and your requests should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.